Hello and welcome back to Vixen Purple's Crochet and more. I am your host Cheryl. Hello from Colorado Springs, Colorado where I reside. Hello to everybody who is joining me today. Thank you for your time and I appreciate you guys being here. Hello to my new subscribers as well as my OGs. You guys are the best. I am going through my totes and, from storage and this is a series that I have been doing and so far I have gone through 40 going on 46 totes. So the tote I'm going to show you guys today is 40 is not tote number 46. This stuff is st stuff that I have either purchased throughout the years or have um, um, purchased through thrift stores, Mary Maxim, Your Inspirations, Hirschner's, the, uh, the online stores, Premier Yarns, um, Joann's, Michael's, and like I said, mainly through thrift stores, as well as flea markets and yard sales if I find some good stuff at yard sales which I have had done I am working on a tote here I'll show you guys here it's kind of a fairly good sized tote pretty packed and it's got stuff that I probably have purchased through some different stuff <clears throat> so let me open it up and you guys can see that it's a fairly good sized tote I'm going to set that over here and in this tote, I believe I have gotten stuff when from Hirschner's and a few other places. Um, they had, at, at one time, they had the bags of, like, three, three bags. Okay, Cheryl. <laughs> I cannot talk today. A bag of three for like ten bucks, and to me that was that was fairly decent sized pricing, especially for the ones that you get at um, the stripings and stuff like that from Red Heart. Now with prices going up and everything, I you know three dollars a, a skein from brand new is is not a bad deal for nine nine or ten dollars. So in this tote, I have got quite a few stuff here. So let me pull some of this stuff out um, and show you guys. So I have a bag of three of Red Bluffs. Oh, Red Bluffs. <laughs> That's from the town I'm from, oh, somewhat originally. I have a bag <laughs> of three in the um, Bright Stripes of Red Heart Super Saver. And this is what it is. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Um, this is a three, 236 ounce bag of, okay, I gotta get the talk on here. <laughs> I'll do this. How about one for you and one for me, and I will try to read the specs. Okay, so this is a five ounce ball. It is 141 grams. It is 236 yards, 215 meters, and this is called... Uh, bright stripes and I have a bag of three in this bag so um, I try to get to them when I can because I know sometimes some of these colors are now probably discontinued so if I can get them at a decent price I try to but because I'm on a low buy this year I am trying to use up my hoard and going through 46 totes of yarn. That's a lot of yarn, guys. A lot of yarn. Anyhow, <laughs> it looks like I have four of these. And the same thing, same specs of the retro, um, not retro stripes, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. This is the color called Fruity Stripes. This is three. Uh, this is what it looks like. I have four of them in this bag, in this tote. So that's enough to do a fairly decent sized project and stuff. So, and I have a little thing over here to go through. This is a bag. Hershner's had a bag of mystery yarn. I think it's been a while for like five or six dollars. And there was supposed to be like 10 skeins. And it looks like I have opened it up to try to use some of it because there's a couple of skeins missing. Yeah, there's two more skeins. So it was a bag of 10. And they had it for a decent sized price, but they were little balls like this. 
So, and this is the color purple. So I got that in here. Doesn't it didn't give me the yardage or anything like that. And then I have another one in here. Looks, looks like I might have used one. Looks like I might have used two of them out of this one so far. And this is a, like a lavender. So I thought that wasn't a bad, a bad price at all. So in here is uh, more Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. But this one is, and it's going to have the same specs as the others. This is called Favorite Stripes. And I have four of them in here. So there's that. Now, um, I remember where I got these. This came in a bat. I'm going to pull them all out. Because there's a lot of these in here. I had bought some mystery bags from Lion Brand a while back. Um, and they were in the Santa Sacks, I believe. So, and there was, I think there was a mystery box. But anyhow, I wound up getting a bunch of this limited edition yarn. And I have, it looks like in two different colors. This is the, doesn't say, do you? It says grays. This one says natural neutrals so I have a gray which looks almost the same color as this but I have three or six of these neutrals and three of the black which is right here three of the black and then three of these um, grays so these are all going to be the same spec so there's a uh, 12 of them here so they're all going to be the same specs as this. So I'm going to give you a one for me and one for you. How's that? Okay, here we go. So this is their limited edition. These are 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. These are uh, 186 per uh, skein of, of, of yarn. They're 100% acrylic. They are washing, washing and dryer bowl. And I, like I said, I have 12 of these in different colors. Some of them feel softer than the others, it, but they, they're just an, a natural acrylic and stuff. So there's that. Put that over here. And then these to the side. Now I will say this, the grays feel softer than the blacks. The black feels very, very rough. This, I have no idea what it is, it was probably something I picked up out of a, out of the thrift store, and somehow it got into this tote. And this feels, feels like it's a a three weight, and it might be a cotton acrylic blend. I don't know, but that might be enough to do a lightweight hat, but not right now. So in here, I also got three. three of this uh, Fair Isles um, bar clay. Now I know these were probably in a Premier mystery bag that I got and these are 195 yards. Um, it is 3.5 ounces. It's 140, sorry, 178 meters, 100 grams. This is what are you? 42% um, superwash merino wool, 35% acrylic, and 23% viscose. This is made in China, and this is supposed to be from the Fair Isle uh, website. But I'm pretty sure these were from Yarn Inspirations. Uh, not Yarn Inspirations. Premiere. And I can't think. And this is called Universe. Universe is the colorway. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that, but this is what I've got in this tote. And this, I have three more downstairs in the, in storage. 
is this Cotton Fair. And Premier had these on sale uh, for a bad deal for like, what was it? Uh, three for three bag three for a bag or something like that and these are a hundred well here we go i'll give this one to you this is a hundred percent oh no sorry this is 52 percent cotton this is also 48 percent acrylic 317 yards 290 meters it's a 3.5 ounces this is machine wash and dry no not dry but something else and iron um this is a two weight yarn this is in the colorway america very very pretty now i have enough to do a garment with this if i ever decide to get my act together on it so i have three of these but generally, I should have like six or seven, maybe eight of these. I don't know. At least I don't remember, but they're down there. <laughs> and then in here, I have one of this, but I know I have more. And this is called um, Lion Brands Mandala Ombre. Uh, this is, uh, is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 300 and. 44 yards and 315 meters. It's 100% acrylic. This is called Felicity. And it's very, very pretty. Um, I might have a couple more downstairs somewhere. I just found it and I'm going to put it in the tote. Just get it in the tote. <laughs> so I have one of these in here. Um, this, I'm not exactly sure where I got these. They might have been in a mystery bag. I don't know. But I wound up getting four of these Fair Isle Boa. It's very, very soft. Duh, Cheryl, come on. Let's do it the right way. There's the, There it is. Now, my, my camera's washing this out. This is a very much a, a mauve pink color. There we go. That's as close as I can get it to it. And this is, give you one for me, one for you. So this is, um, it's called a Super Bulky. It's made by Fair Isle. It's 71 yards, 3.5 ounces, 65 meters, 100 grams. This is 50% nylon. 50% polyester. It's made in China. And like I said, this probably could have been in a um, mystery box from Premier's. I just, honestly, I don't remember at this time. I'm going to set these back in here. Um, then I've got six of these Summer Nights. Where's the back Summer Nights? I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it. It's really, really thin, thin yarn. Um, I'm not a fan of lace weight. But there's 437 yards in it. So it's a 3.5 ounce ball. It's 100 grams, 437 yards, 400 meters. It is 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. Now, I probably could hold two together and make a shawl or something because that's, that's a lot of yardage on this. But I have six of them in here. Like I said, I haven't figured out what to make with them on that. So, and then I know I got these in definitely in a, in a uh, line brand mystery bag. So, I like mystery bags because you never know what you're going to get. But it's fun to get them. Not all of them are the greatest, but they are fun to get. <laughs> in here, I have three. I know I bought these 
because I love the color and it's called the ice cream ice cream uh, yarn by Lion Brands. This is um, a 3.5 ounce ball. It is uh, 394 yards. It's a three weight, 100% acrylic, and it's 100% machine washable and dryable. So I have three of them. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it. Probably make something very, very pretty. But I have three of those. And then the other thing I have in here is three of the same same specs but this is called ubi or ubi here yeah ubi that's the the name ube and it's lion brands ice cream very very pretty it's got like a minty green purples pinks dark pinks very pretty so i figured out what i'm going to do with this particular colorway and then last but not least I have two of these this reminds me of a kind of like a banana split type thing let me put these back in here so I can work there we go okay so same specs as the other it's this uh, ice cream and <laughs> this is called banana split <laughs> So this has got purples, oranges, light yellows, minty uh, green, and white, and it's really, really pretty. So I don't know why, it, <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's called banana split. So that is it for this tote. Um, I'm gonna put you guys on pause because I have another tote. So this will be 46 and 47 on this video. So. Give me just a second. Well, it'll be a second for you, but a couple minutes for me. So hold on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It was just a second for you guys, but a couple minutes for me. <laughs> I had to put the other tote back together. All right, so this is an 18-gallon uh, tote that I have, and it's fairly good size. Not bad. But this looks like it's full of, uh, of yarn bee yarns. Um, you guys may know that uh, last year I got a bunch of um, yarn bee yarns so that they were having on their clearance sale. So let's kind of go through this and see what I got in this tote. So it looks like I have one of the Lion Brands La Lazy, Lazy Days brand. This is called Wood Rose. This is... There we go, 179 yards, 3.5 ounces. It's 100 grams, it's 164 meters. It is a 100% polyester, and it's a very mauve color in this. So I have that one in there. Um, in here, I also have uh, Must Be Merino and called the Blue Smoke. It is uh, 3.5 ounces, it's 150 three yards and that's what I paid for when they had the clearance this is called blue smoke so I have one of those in there and then I have a must be merino Aaron is this an Aaron yes Aaron and but in black so it's the same specs looks like I have a clay color same specs. Oh, uh, let's see what else do I got in here. I'm trying to see if I have another one in. Yep, I do. Um, in the blush is what I have in the musty merino. Same specs, but it's a pinky color. There. All right. So it looks like I have one, two of the. Romantic. I need to get these out. Work with them. Okay, so here's one for me, one for you. This is 80% acrylic, 20% polymate. It is very, very soft. This is um, 3.5 ounces. It's 83 yards per hank. This is called Gray Sage. 
there is probably enough to do maybe a hat and something else. I don't know. Or just a scarf. Who knows? Uh, that's not much of yardage. This is a number five yarn. Now I have just two of those in there. And then it looks like I have in here uh, some Yarn Bee Sweet Delights in the color of banana. This is 60% polymade, sorry, acrylic, and 40% polymades. This is 377 yards, 345 meters. It's a four ounce ball, and it's a bright yellow. And go from there. So I think I just have one of these. And then I have one of this um, Sweet Delights in Pomp. And it's a sparkly color. And this is 340 yards. It's 115 grams. It's 4 ounces and a 331 meters. It is 54% acrylic. 30% polymade and 10% rayon so and there we go there's that one and here I have oh I have some more must be more you know how many do I have in here okay it looks like I have a lot more well let's see if I can get all the must be merinos out so I have, looks like I have three so far in the mauve. I have another uh, Woodsy Rose in the Lazy Days. And then I have a white in the Must Be Merino. Let's set these guys over here. And that's what I have so far. And what I have right here is called Smooth smooth Move. It's called Microwave. Micro <laughs> I can't talk today. Microfiber. It's called Red. It's 270 yards. It's 3.5 ounces. And I paid $1.32 at that time. And it's 100% microfiber acrylic, acrylic in red. So... That's a project there. And then, oh, that's okay. I forgot about this. I had gotten this uh, Let's Get Cozy from Lion Brands, the Chenille Appeal. And I paid $1.74 for it. This is 100% polyester. This is 284 yards, 260 meters. It's 3.5 ounces, and it's 100 grams. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. Set it aside. <laughs> and then I have another uh, smooth move in the micro microfiber in the black. Same specs as the red. I have a lazy day in, what color are you? Wind chime. So, it's kind of a grayish color. And it's... Uh, 100% um, uh, polyester, 379 yards, 100%, 164 meters, 3.5 ounces. So there we go. So in the must be merino, it looks like I have another. Looks like I have another white, and then I have a smoky blue. In those. So. Some of this stuff I wasn't sure what I'm going to do with it. So in here I have the Yarntopia Pearl. This is uh, 312 yards. It's a 4.8 ounce. This is called Pearl. And it's a gray. It's a shiny gray. Very soft. Very pretty. It's 100% acrylic. This is a two weight. So, and then I have in here, um, 
this uh, highlights. It's called Gold, and it's 380 yards. It's a 3.5 ounce ball. This was on clearance too. And this is 79% acrylic and 20% pomade and 1% metallic. Because there is metallic in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's hard to see. So there's that one. It looks like I have a couple of different colorways in this stuff. And it's called the Burnett Forever Fleece. And this was... When they had it, they were selling it for almost $15 a, a cake, a, a ball. So this is it. And I have one more here in a different colors, but it's, they're the same specs. So I'm going to read one from you. This is 100% polyester. This is a 9.9 .9 ounce ball. It's 194 yards. And it's 100, 280 grams. It's 177 meters. It is a number six. It's made by Yarnspirations, and that this colorway is called Dark Eucalyptus, and then I have a blue called Juniper. So I have two of these, but I have more of them here. So I have one of that blue, but it looks like I have two. I have three of that forever fleece in that color and that looks like that's all and I have four of this in this color and these two might make a blanket or something a stripy blanket Ooh, that'd be interesting C to C blanket black can Okay, in here, like I really need more. Okay. It looks like I picked up some Fur with Love by Yarn Bee. This is 37 yards and it's a seven ounce ball. This is in the color white. And it's definitely a, a six, bulky six. And then I have it in black. So I have, so far in this tote is these two. Okay, let's see what I got here. It looks like I have some more of that must be merino Aaron in clay. Looks like I have two of them. So I have about four of them, I think. And the clay. Let's see. And then I have this is a Breathe Deep White. It's very soft. This is 100% poly polymade. This is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 216 yards, 196 meters. And it's very soft. Very, very pretty. So that's what I have in there. Looks like I have two... Well, I have two of each. I have two of the banana and two of the the um, Sweet Delights pump, pump yarn. So right there is enough to do a project with. Okay. Looks like I have another, oops, another, nope. I have another Smooth Move, but in Burnt Pumpkin. So I have three those colors. Is this another one? Must be Merino. Okay, so I have another Must Be Merino in the color blush. So, and then I have another Romantique. So, actually, oh no. So there's another one. And it's the same specs. It's 83 yards. It's a 3.5 ounce Ball and it's a hundred percent no sorry eighty percent of polymade scratch that eighty percent acrylic and twenty percent polymade and it's got the fuzzies that feels really nice okay looks like I have some more of the Lion Brands chenille 
So I have these colors, these three. All right, that's how much I have. <laughs> so these are all the same specs. I'm gonna put these back in here. And then I have another Lazy Days, but this is in the blue, bluebell. So I have probably got about four of the, three of these, I think. So, and then I have one more of that gold highlight that I showed you earlier. And then I have another black in highlights. So this is 79% acrylic and 20% pomade and 100% of 1% metallic can't read. So that's what's in this tote so far. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I've taken up too much of your guys' time as it is. Thank you for joining me and watching this uh, hoard <laughs> of totes that I have. Um, this, is, this is only just a fraction. I still have more downstairs in my yarn room and in the garage. And it's still more here because I got some more totes over there. So with that being said, guys, I want to say thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate your time and I appreciate your views as well. Thank you for everything that you guys are doing. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this stuff or whatever. If you got any ideas on some of these projects or yarn usage, we'll figure it out one way or another. But anyhow, guys, you guys take care now. We'll talk to you. Big hugs late. Big hugs to you. I will see you guys later on the next video. Bye for now.